Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another video podcast. This is Nisa, and actually my sister is not here again. Where is she? Like, where does she go? Where is Yuka? Anyways, um, today I'll be delivering the podcast by myself. If you are new on this um, cricket podcast, it's like cricket. If you're like listening or like if you are watching the YouTube version. Um, oh, there we go. This might be better. Oh, wait, no. This might be better. This like camera thing is the hardest thing ever in my life. It's it's so hard. I, I like I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Anyways, welcome, welcome. If you are new here, my name is Misa and I was born in the States. I was raised no no, I was not born in the States. I was raised no, I was born in Japan. Whoa, I'm on a roll today. I was born in Japan, raised in the States, and um I'm currently living in Tokyo, Japan. And on this podcast, I usually run it with my little sister, Yuka. Um, but she's like at work and she uh, um, she's not here today. But we usually just talk about random stuff that we relate to each week. And we hope you relate to as well. And I usually have my sister kind of like talk about the topic. But today's topic is going to be about my birthday mindset. Because actually, today is my birthday. Like, I always forget, like, as you, like, I don't know, like, when you're younger, your birthday is the biggest event ever, and you have to have, like, all these, um, this is so hard, um, you have to have all these, like, events, like, birthday parties, like, slumber parties, and you plan all of this, you bring snacks and, like, donuts and cookies to school, um, that's how I kind of spent my early life spending my birthday, And then once you get into like high school, college, like you kind of tell everyone it's your birthday and then they celebrate it for you. And then like as you kind of like adult, you kind of like forget about your birthday. But anyways, um, I want to be talking about like how I like how I spend my birthday um, and how I like to spend it recently. And then kind of like the mindset that I have um, each year on my birthday and um I know, like, I don't know if, like, birthdays are, like, I think, for me, I think it's kind of, like, overrated sometimes. I know it's the day of your birth, but at the same time, I feel like people are, like, oh, it's your birthday. You're, you're the birthday girl. Like, it's your day to do whatever you want. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know, it's just like a normal, like another normal day for anyone and everyone and for yourself. So first of all, like, I don't really know like how like special your birthday is. I don't think it's like that special. But anyways, um, but I do have like a story to tell about like birthday mindsets because so long story short, I now think of birthdays as um like something like 180 degrees different from what I thought how I thought when I was in high school and I'm definitely not in high school anymore but in high school and like when I was younger like birthdays were so important for me and I really wanted people to say happy birthday to me and also celebrate it for me on my birthday and like it was like kind of important and if like people didn't if people first forgot my birthday if people didn't say happy birthday to me or like if people didn't bring me stuff I don't know um I would have been kind of upset and that was the case when I was in high school and I like clearly remember I think I was like a junior in high school um I um it was like a day it was my birthday and There are, like, I think there are, like, two types of people. People who um, tell everyone that it's, like, their birthdays. And it's, like, oh, it's my birthday, everyone. Like, say happy birthday to me, blah, blah, blah. And then another type where they say, like, um, they where they kind of stay quiet about their birthday. And, like, they don't really, like, tell anyone. Oh, I think there's three. So, they don't tell anyone and they're okay with it. And there's other type, um where they 
stay quiet about their birthdays, but they kind of want people to know it's their birthdays. And I was the third type. I didn't want to tell anyone because that's kind of like being a little bit too much. But at the same time, I wanted people to know that it was my birthday. And so that was like me way back in, in like June, a junior in high school, my birthday came and I wanted people to know that it was my birthday, but I didn't tell anyone that it was my birthday. Right. So that's, so there was like a problem. No one knew it was my birthday because I didn't tell anyone unless they really checked my Facebook or something. Um, And there was another me wanting people, yeah, wanting people to celebrate my birthday that day. And um, of course, no one, no one, I think, like knew about my birthday first. And like no one said like happy birthday or anything like that because I didn't tell anyone and people probably forgot, right? And I felt so bad about myself. Like I felt, I felt like sorry for myself for one like, And I also, like, that was, like, the worst day ever. Like, I was expecting so much from other people, and yet I received so little. And so, now I really think about birthdays, like, um, like, and I think the problem was here. I think the problem was, like, I expected so much out of people. Like, I expected so many, like, so much from people because, um, I'm, like, I'm expecting people to say happy birthday and to know that it's my birthday without even telling anyone. Like, it doesn't even make sense, right? Um, And so, yeah, I think there was, like, so much expectation that I was, like, having for other people while not receiving anything. And that's where, like, the unhappiness came from, right? And so I was like, okay, so now, like, after that, like, Now I think about it. Now I really spend my birthday so differently. I think about birthdays as like, um, oh yeah, there was this, okay, there was this like time. I think I was like, it was like three years later after maybe I graduated college or like during college. Um, when I, when like something clicked in me and I was like, oh wait, birthdays are like not about me. Like I, think I'm happier when I'm like not really expecting so much out of like my birthday and kind of like kind of like take it as like another normal day um and then actively be able to actively like say thank you to the people around me to be like supporting me or like to you know to for like being my friend for the past how many so years um and so that's like toward my friends and also like um thanking my 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 parents for raising me to that age and thanking universe for allowing me to be on this planet for that many years because it's actually like it's like actually a miracle that we're like all living on this planet because like one day something can can happen and poof you might be gone right so i was like wow it's like actually a really big day to celebrate um, not like material, like not like with like, pro- like presents and stuff, but like to be able to kind of like celebrate that you were able to be alive for that long. And so I started like thanking people. It's like, Hey, thank you for blah, blah. Thank you for, um, and like calling my parents be like, hi, it's my birthday. I just wanted to say thank you. Um, or like actively like going to like volunteer, services right and like doing like community service or something and like I was like trying to be more active I was okay so I was like try yeah I was like trying to be I wasn't like deliberately deliberately like trying to like actively do those things on my birthdays like it just like happened to be those kinds of days where I like actively um, did something for others, but, like, the mindset was, like, more of, like, not expecting the stuff that I can't even control, like, you can't even control when people message you happy birthday, right, but I was, like, trying to, like, but I was, like, controlling the stuff that I could control, 
which was like saying thank you to the people around me. Thank you to um, all the people who have supported me throughout the years, right? And so like that like kind of mindset really helped me um, get out of like the taking or like the receiving from like um, the giving to the giving, if that makes sense. And that's like really, um, that like, that is really relieving. Like that mindset is like, it actually saves you from a lot of like um, disappointment. It saves you from a lot of, yeah, like disappointment um, from like not receiving from like what you expected. And I thought it, this topic was pretty relevant because it's everyone's, it's someone's birthday every day, right? And so like birthdays are like, I think, like a day where you can say thank you to each other. Um, and not some more so of like the presents and like all of that stuff, but like, yeah, just like saying thank you to each other. And it's not about like what you want or like what you can what like presents you can give it might be like to showcase your gratitude toward that person I think it's like a day of like giving thanks so that's how I see birthdays now since I am getting to a wisdomy stage of my life just kidding I'm just kidding I am like not a wisdomy person like I do not have wisdom at all but that's like that's how I've been thinking about birthdays isn't that cool I think like, I mean, I'm not saying that you should not treat yourself or like you should not go to birthday parties. I'm not saying that. I think that all comes from being grateful for your friends, your family and everything. And also for yourself, like being like thankful for yourself that like you were able to like work like so hard throughout the years and you're like living on this planet because living on this planet, literally it's like a miracle I think it's so fun right who is having fun on earth me um but yeah so um, I don't know if like this podcast a little podcast made sense but that is my birthday mindset if anyone relates to that or if anyone is today's if anyone's birthday is in June or whenever you're watching this and you kind of feel iffy about like I don't know, expectations you might have. I think relieving of the expectations and really getting the gra- getting a grasp of what you can control is very, very, I can't get the right word for it, but relieving. And also it's very, I don't know. I, don't, I, I know the phrase in Japanese, but I just don't know it in English. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I, um, so if anyone, it's, if it's your birthday today, happy birthday, if it's your birthday, whenever, happy birthday, um, we are so grateful and happy that you are alive on this planet, um, and so yeah, I hope it kind of resonated, I have no idea, but I'm also, um, open to a lot of topic ideas on our podcast instagram we have a podcast instagram so please dm us any topics or advice that you want from me or my little sister he will be happy as a fly to be answering those questions on this podcast so yes um i hope you guys are having a great day and a great life and i'll see you guys in my next video